Hey guys, it's Carnivore Kip. Today I'm gonna do something super awesome. So it's my birthday, and for my birthday, I'm gonna take on three pounds. Cause it's my 30th birthday, so I'm gonna take on three pounds of uh, ground beef. This is 80-20 ground beef. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna form one huge patty. It's gonna be a three pound burger and I'm gonna smoke it on my kettle grill. And after I get done smoking it, I'm gonna challenge myself and see if I can actually eat the whole three pound burger. Stay tuned and watch this. To make these burgers, I'm gonna be using one of my favorites. It's called 1836 from Suckle Busters. It's a good rub if you want something that's got pretty clean ingredients in it. And then I might toss a little of that uh, Redmond's Real Salt, the cherry smoked salt. I might put a little bit of that on there at the end. I might add a little butter if I want to. So that's gonna be 16 ounces times three. That's gonna be what? How many ounces is that? 32, uh, 32, 48 ounces. So that's gonna be 40, I think it's 48 ounces. Yeah, it's gonna be 48 ounces of hamburger meat that I'm gonna try to eat in one setting and I'm gonna film it right now. This is gonna be an awesome birthday, y'all. I'm excited about this. Pits outside coming up to temp right now. Let's get it going. It's gonna be one huge patty. It's gonna take a little longer to smoke this as well because this is gonna be a bigger burger than what you're used to seeing and what I'm used to eating. Normally, I do one pound burgers all the time. I've never done a three pound burger. This is insane. I hope I'm gonna be able to finish this because my wife, she thinks that I'm not gonna be able to and I might not be able to. I don't wanna make myself sick, but we're gonna see what I got. We're gonna see what I can do. I've had a lot of people that say, can you, can he do it? Can he not do it? Drop a comment and let me know before you see the end of this video if you think I finished the burger or not. Let me know if you think that I finish it or if I give up. And don't, no cheating, don't cheat either. So we got three pounds of 80-20 ground beef and we are gonna make a burger. I appreciate all y'all that showed up in the live chat last night too for introducing y'all to my wife. I've been trying to get her on for a while. She's not carnivore, but she's like my biggest supporter and I love her to death and so I wanted to get her in the video at some point. This thing may fall apart some while I'm flipping it over, but I mean, I'm gonna flip, try to flipping it over and see, or I'm gonna season this part first and then flip it over and season it the best I can. If I have to reform it a little bit, I will. Just get a bunch of seasoning on there. That's what makes it good. All right. Get her seasoned up, y'all. We're gonna get some smoke on this thing. What's gonna be fun is getting this thing on a smoker. Oh my goodness. Happy birthday, Kip. This is a way to celebrate turning 30 for sure. When it gets done, I'm probably, I might use a little bit of Redmond salt on there, but I mean, it's got plenty of seasoning on it. Let's check it out. There's your burger. That thing is massive. You see that? All right, let's very carefully get this gigantic burger on this pit. We're gonna have to be careful, y'all. All right, so I got a spatula on one side, and then I'm gonna have to come in over here and try to help it out, kind of distribute the weight as best I can. If it falls apart, oh well. Look how big that burger is compared to that spatula. Do y'all see that? It's on the pit. Let's let it get going. Let's get it get to smoking. So right now we're waiting on this burger to come up to temp. And while I'm waiting on it to come up to temp, I wanted to go ahead and update y'all what we're gonna do this weekend for my birthday. It's my birthday weekend. And uh, so today I'm doing the burger and I'm gonna enjoy this challenge, but then I'm not gonna be filming Harley after today because I just wanna enjoy a little bit of time with family. And so 
Um, tomorrow we have like an event with family to go to and uh, tomorrow evening we're going to celebrate at uh, in-laws house for my birthday and then um, and then the day after that we're going to um, a seafood place that I love going to in Mobile and uh, I'm gonna eat like steamed shrimp and sausage and things like that for my birthday and yes I'm gonna do I'm gonna stay carnivore because I know it's my birthday and it would be very easy to like just be like oh, I'm just gonna have the cake and everything but I don't think I'm at a place where I need to be doing that maybe next year on my birthday would be a better time for if I want to indulge a little bit and have cake but right now I know it would slow me down for a long time I've because I've kind of already been in a stall for the past two or three weeks and the last thing I need is five more pounds to worry about because I are even 10 more pounds because I just went crazy over the weekend. So, uh, and then um, Monday, I'm off work Monday as well, but I'm really excited about Monday because we're going to see two of my subscribers in person, Shelly and her sister Kelly. We're gonna go meet at Longhorns and we're gonna eat steaks together and just hang out Shelly was the first subscriber that I met in person, so it's going to be really cool to hang out with her, and I'm excited to meet Kelly too. I haven't met her yet. It's really cool whenever you start a channel and you get to meet your subscribers as well, uh, and maybe one day we get enough people in here to where we can uh, do a meetup, and maybe I cook at a park on the Shirley or something like that for y'all, because I'd love to feed y'all. Two other things that I almost forgot to mention that I wanted to talk to y'all about was one, the update on did I reach my goal to be in the 300 clubs by my birthday? The answer to that question is no, I did not reach that goal. Uh, I've been in a stall the past few weeks and I'll be honest, it's kind of been a little frustrating, but at the same time, I'm not giving up. I know that I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing and I've kind of made a commitment to myself that in uh, starting in June, June 1st, I want to take the bubblies, there's a, some type of bug or butterfly or something, but I want to take the bubblies out of my diet for a month and just see what happens. But um, I, and I already, I have cheese every now and then, I probably have cheese I don't know, once a week. And I want to cut that out completely for the month of June. So that kind of, I'm not like a big enough channel to do like big challenges or anything. But if there's any of y'all that is uh, watching this video and would like to challenge yourself to one thing that you could cut for the month, because I mean, we're kind of at the mid year point almost of the year. And that's a time of the year where a lot of people, they get more relaxed and, you know, because they had their New Year's resolutions and all that stuff. And they've kind of got relaxed a little bit. So if you've got something that has creeped back in over the past few months or anything that you would like to cut, take the challenge with me and just cut it for the month of June and just see what happens. I mean, I'm kind of a little worried because I love my bubbly but I can live on just water. The second thing was uh, I found out why it's been hard to walk recently. Uh, not just walking in general, but like going on like walks and things like that for exercise. It's because I got an x-ray the other day and I found out that I have what's called spinal bifida. And well, not regular spinal bifida, it's called spinal bifida occulta and it's I guess it's like a more hidden form and it's not as severe as regular spinal bifida but I'm going to start physical therapy next week and see if that will help with it some maybe they can help me learn some exercises or move a certain way because if I could get relief then I would probably be more likely to do the walking that I would like to do all right let's blow this thing out and let's eat Happy birthday, Kip. Let's just tear right on into it. Let's see what we got. Y'all wanna see what it looks like on the inside?
That's what it looks like on the inside, y'all. Redmond's Real Salt, the cherry. And put a little bit of that on some of it and see what it tastes like. And put it right here. See how it does. Mm. That's good. I actually pulled this burger off around around 130. 130, 135. I don't like them to get way too done. They're still it's still pink all the way through, but it's it's fine. We're gonna see if I can do it, y'all. We're gonna see if I can do it. Now one thing, I'm gonna need a nap after I get done eating this burger. It's the size of a meatloaf. It is really good though. It's something about putting them on a smoker. I'm telling you, it does something to them. And everything cooks so even when you do it on a smoker, you see that? It's so even. I did eat breakfast today. I ate bacon and sausage and that was it for breakfast. I skipped lunch because I knew I was gonna be eating this burger. So I skipped lunch and I'm gonna have uh, an early supper. I doubt I'll be hungry again today after I eat this or after I attempt to eat this. My wife said I can't do it, so we'll see. Put a little salt on the board, cause I can mop with it. A little bit extra on here. That salt is good, y'all. I was worried about it being smoked salt cause some people don't know how to smoke stuff. It's got a good flavor. I might end up hitting the wall. Cause normally, Normally I eat about a pound. So, we are gonna see. Oh, I had to make more room. <laughs> Do y'all think I'm gonna be able to finish it? Put it in the comments. I feel it already. Probably should have skipped breakfast. I should have trained for this. Cause I'm already like, whoo. I don't know if I'm gonna make it through it. I don't, I, I'm starting to doubt myself. <laughs> I'm gonna go for at least two pounds of it, at least. If I don't finish it, then I'll have leftovers tomorrow. So, but if I do finish it, that'd be cool too. Why did I come up with a stupid idea? Uh. This is so dumb. <laughs> I was thinking, I was thinking, well, since I'm turning 30 years old, I might as well you know, it's got a three in it, so let's go with a um, three pound burger. I should have been like, well, let's do like a 30 ounce burger or a 30 ounce steak. Not a 48 ounce burger. I'm not gonna finish this. <laughs> I honestly, I think I have room to make myself finish most of it, but I think what would happen I think what would happen is if I did, I think I would throw up. Probably within five or 10 minutes, I think I would throw up because like I don't eat that much anymore. It's a great burger. I think I probably ate 70% of it. I'm at like two pounds. Let me know in the comments if y'all think that I should have like 
skip breakfast. I lose the challenge, but hey, I enjoyed it. It was good. And hopefully y'all enjoyed watching it. I don't know if I'll do another challenge for a while. Right now, it's gonna be a challenge getting up out of this chair and going over there to chill out on the couch. I probably got two pounds of it, eight, close to two pounds of it, probably a little under two pounds of it. I feel a burp coming on, and I know after I burp, I could squeeze a little more down, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Sometimes you gotta accept defeat and then um, uh, bounce back later. I appreciate y'all enjoying following my journey. I appreciate all the support from everyone. Uh, you know, now that I'm turning 30 years old, um, before I started Carnivore, I was super worried about my future. I was worried about like, man, like I was thinking about turning 30 or when I, once I hit 40, like thinking like, man, my life could be either over or almost over at that point. But man, since I've started this, I look forward to the future now. And um, if Carnivore has made me lose 80 pounds already this year and made me feel better and made me no longer a diabetic, no longer a pre-diabetic, if it's done all those things for me <clears throat> in that short a time, there's no telling what it's going to do for me in two years' time. So if there's that one person that hasn't watched uh, any of my videos before or don't know too much about the carnivore diet, do some research on it because it's been very beneficial to me and it took away my shoulder pain as well. Um, but yeah, y'all, thank y'all for watching. God bless all y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm trying to hold a burp down. <laughs> <laughs>